Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some new lip products that I picked up. So I got these new NYX Shine Loud lip colors from Ulta and I'm going to step you through a video where I actually swatch all the colors. I've swatched them here. I'll talk to you about that in a second. And I put them all on my lips so you guys can see what they look like on me. So if you enjoy videos like this, reviews of new products, please subscribe to my channel below. I'd really appreciate your support. I'm trying to grow my channel here on YouTube and I'm new. So all the support that you could give me would be very much appreciated. So let's jump into this. So these new lip products are really interesting. I have something similar that I've purchased in the past that was a lot more money, but seem to be the only ones that could do a similar job to this. And these are the Chanel lip products. I don't remember exactly what these are called, but I'll list their name below. And I think these are roughly around $35 or so. And these are $11.50 at Ulta and they have several different shades. I think that they have over 10 shades. I kind of picked the colors I felt that were most wearable to me. Um, and I have another one coming in the mail. So um, let me talk with you about this formula. It's a very long wearing formula. It claims to be, you put it on your lips, it's supposed to be very opaque and it's gonna be transfer proof as you wear it. So you can see right here, I actually have one of them on, my favorite one. And then this is on there set with the lip gloss and they're kiss proof. There's nothing that's coming off. Just the lip gloss will come off a little bit and you can just reapply that. So let me step you through the colors that I have. These are the ones that I have right here. The top one there is called Life Goals. So that's like the most orangish one. Then the next one that I have there is called Ambition Statement. That is the second one there. The third lightest color there is called Born to Hustle. That's this one. Then the second to last color, that purple color is called Make It Work. And then the last color is called Goal Getter. And that's actually the color that I have on right now. But through this try on, you'll see me put all of them on my lips. You'll see what it looks like as we're like waiting for it to dry, what that process is. And then I'll put the lip gloss on all of them and show you what they look like. So there's the swatches and then let's watch me swatch them on my lips. So let's start with life goals. So that is step one, you put on the lipstick. And then you have to wait for about maybe a minute. I'll just cut right back to when it actually dries down. It's like creamy right now. I can start feeling it getting tacky. And when it gets tacky, that means it's drying. So let me fast forward and I'll be back in just a minute. It's been about a minute now and it is getting dry. It's not completely dry yet. Okay, it's been about a minute now and it's getting really dry. It's still tacky, so it feels weird. It's starting to dry down, but they're still like sticky, like that, see? And you wanna wait a little bit longer until it passes this time. Some One thing I noticed yesterday when I tried this on was if I didn't get in all of the creases on my lips, like if my lips were dried out at all, and then this is gonna like make it so that there's lines in your lips. So you definitely want to put it on like this so that you're actually getting the coverage on all your little nooks and crannies. You don't wanna just put it on like this cause then it's not gonna fill in all the holes. You wanna like go like this so that you're making sure you're getting it in all the cracks. So you can see and then without the gloss, it looks really dried up, like kind of like regular look, liquid lipstick does. That's what, <laughs> that's what some of it does to my lips and it's horrible. So it's really getting to the point now where I would say that it's, it is time for the gloss. So then you give this container of gloss over here and you have this little brush applicator and you just go ahead and Put that gloss right on, it feels good. 
much better than it did a second ago. And now you have transfer proof, shiny, shiny, opaque lip color. So this is life goals. And I'll show you that it's kiss proof. So look, I've got nothing on my hand right now. And the only thing that came off is a little bit of the gloss. I do think that this color, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's making my teeth look yellow, but it's okay. I got more colors where that one came from. So let me try to take this off and I'll come back and try one of the other ones. All right, so it really required the big guns to get this <laughs> lipstick off. So I had to go in with my Mary Kay oil-free makeup remover. And this is not This is for the eyes, so it's not really made for the lips. So definitely make sure that if you're using like an oil-free makeup remover on your lips that you're really cleaning them off. First color is off. Now let's move on to the next color. So I guess I'm gonna do uh, the brown colors first or the warm colors first and then move into the cool ones. So this one is ambition statement. So that is an ambition statement. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to set down and I'll be right back. All right, now ambition statement is dry. And let's put on the gloss. Also one cool thing is like the gloss doesn't get any of the lip color on it. So you always have a clean gloss. I know that's always, whenever I wear a regular lipstick and I go to put a gloss on, I end up with a bunch of of the lipstick on my applicator and that doesn't happen with this. So this is ambition statement. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the more berry tones or cooler tones. I'll start with the, li the lightest one. This one is not my favorite, but I'm gonna start with it. Maybe it'll be somebody else's. So this is the color Born to Hustle. All right, now that one is all finished drying and let's put on the lip gloss. So that is the gloss over Born to Hustle. So clearly this is way too light for me to feel comfortable. <laughs> This is my least favorite shade. I guess if I put on a lip liner with this, maybe it looked better, but it just looks meh, not good on me, in my opinion. But this is Born to Hustle. All right, let's take this one off. All right, I've got two colors left and I'm excited these are both really dark. I'm gonna go with the more purple one first and this is in the color Make It Work. Wow, that's really purple. <laughs> a little bit more purple than I was anticipating, but I guess if I had a cool tone makeup on, look on, it would look better. All right, let's wait until it dries. Okay, this is color makeup. Okay, final color. I'm really excited about this one. I'm hoping to love it. This one is called Goal Getter. Okay, it's pretty dry now. It still has that crazy tackiness, but I think you can still put it on now. All right, so this is the last one in the color Goal Getter. I think this one is my favorite one. I'm curious to know what you guys think, what your favorite one is. Please list it below, I'd love to hear it. All right, so final thoughts on these products. I really like them. I think that the only one I really 
wasn't a fan of is the lightest one for me, which is Born to Hustle. I would have to wear a lip liner with it, which would kind of defeat the purpose of trying to be transfer proof because the lip liner would still be transferring. But these are really comfortable. I feel like they are kiss proof. I think that they're comfortable. This is like the best way to wear a bold lip in my opinion by far. So these definitely have my stamp of approval and I'm excited about more neutral colors that I actually have on the way. So maybe I'll do a little follow up video on that. But I really enjoyed these and I think that they're worth it. I would pick them up if you can. I know that they're selling out like crazy but you might wanna run to Ulta and see what that they have in stock in your store. So. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.